so I thought I was going to have to hide behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Is she doing good? Nice, it, no? Yeah. Getting all this without touch. This is my son. <sighs> without working, touching her hand, we're working through the rib cage to let her whole hand open up. Good. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> Breathing changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you like me to tell you what I think is happening? Yeah. Okay. Some people call it a memory, but when working on her lungs. Well, I'm working on more. I'm a Feldenkrais practitioner. We're not working on any one system. We're working with the whole person. But at that moment, I'm really talking to her lungs. Well, what happened when she was not getting air, right? So her lungs were really grasping. When your lungs grasp, the hands will do this. And of course, when there's ox oxygen deprivation, this is a clue of oxygen deprivation. This is a real big clue. The thumb like this. The, it, it's not just oxygen deprivation, it's hindbrain activation. So sometimes when people get really, 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 really angry, they, get, they go like this. But in martial arts, they always teach never punch this way. If you punch this way, you're going to totally bust your thumb. So then they teach the proper way how to support, right? But hindbrain activation tends to do this with people. So when there's a brain injury even, or just a, some people with you know, serious anger, will go like that. So if you, that's just a clue. <laughs> Watch this in people. Okay. And then there's a little hyperextension that goes on because that's hyperextension in all of this, which is hindbrain, blah, 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 blah. Okay. But what happens, so when there's, there's struggling, right, there's all this that goes on. So as we, kind of my sense was that there was an unwinding, an unwinding in the nervous system of going back, not going back and remembering that memory, it's unwinding that memory and 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 kind of neutralizing it. Um, it doesn't make that memory go away. We remember things. That's a very important thing, right? You can kind of neutralize a memory so it doesn't make you so upset again. But or you dilute it in a way. It's kinda like giving birth, right? We really do because when we're this then it's not such a memory of that. You remember it, but it doesn't have the same boom to it. So there's a little bit of that. That is what my sense was is what was happening here. And this then could go back, go back like we reround the film. And then this can open up and get the movement. Because now we're showing her lungs to remember how to breathe in here again. And in that, that whole story rewound. Does that make sense? But again, it's not experiencing it. She's <coughs> not just moving it, but that she then doesn't just go here, she goes here and touches. And then she goes a little here, then she goes back here. With brain injury or not brain injury, you're going to hear me go back and forth. It's irrelevant, but especially for brain injury. It's so important because what we're going to do is what we call sliding contact. What happens in brain injury we lose our sense of self and the body does this and we don't know it's doing that and we don't know how to control it. Mm -hmm.
but as soon as we on the outside come in and slide the body against the body, now the, the brain and the nervous system talks to each other. Mm. So you get efferent and afferent nerves talking to each other. You get the nerves that exit the spinal cord and go to the ends of the body, go back to the spinal cord, up to the brain, and talk. hearing is the brain gets overloaded from sound, so I have to quiet it down. Cough. Yeah, but she, she didn't choke. No. That was she, a nice cough. Not yeah, a choking again. No, it's good. She, at first she had no cough, so she had no way to control that. But. Good. See, and then she brings the hand up, and she brings the hand back and touches herself. start to lower the baclofen. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of good swaddling. Oh. Yeah, because you're getting feedback into the joints. She loved that. Yeah, I'm sure she did. Yeah. Okay to go on her belly? Yeah. 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 That's okay. This will okay. Good. let her breathe. Go ahead. You can put her on her belly. I know it's so warm. So, yeah, and I'm at that age anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she also since the accident, she we, we never dress her. She just is so hot. All the time. Yeah. Was she that way before? No. No. It, it's the temperature yeah. regulating. <laughs> you go ahead and move her any way you want with her head. It's okay. And when she cries, because she was crying, yeah. then I'd like to see her get the feedback on her belly. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Because there's just something so soothing to the nervous system. She was so understand. Really? Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. You can move around. I'm blocking your view. Yeah. What is your name? I'm Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Melanor. You can watch as much. Learn. Chuck's a dancer. Petulia. What? I'm a dancer at Julie. 